Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to see how we can fetch data from Google Sheets and use it to create UI elements, charts and progress bars. In this design, what I have done is I have three values. First one is the name as usual as in the previous case. Second one is the score and I have I want the marks that they have secured as a percentage. Now based on the percentage, I want this green bar to increase in width. So if it is 50%, I want it here. If it's 100%, I want it fully fit. Now in order to tell this plugin that you have to take the values from second sheet and not the first sheet, you can take the name of whichever sheet that you want. In this case, it is progress bar, copy it and inside the page, paste that value and put two slashes before it. So this tells the plugin that to look for that sheet for this pane and not any other sheet. Now we need to tell the plugin that how, what is the width and width is based on the percentage of this parent gray button, gray background. Now if you see the gray background has 336 width. So imagine if I get 50%, I need this width of this green to be 50% of 336. And likewise, so if it's like 100% marks, it will become 336 itself. So that calculation we have to do in our Google Sheet. So as you can see in this example, I have the name of the person, the score that they have and the target. Like for example, it is a 60 marks paper, they have scored 28 marks. And I have calculated a percentage just simply by dividing and multiplying by 100. Now, we need this percentage as from 336. So for example, if I get 300% the width becomes 336. So I have used this formula, divided both of them and multiplied by 336. Why 336 you ask? Because this is the progress bar and its width is 336. Like whatever is the width that you want for this green box, you have to add a slash before it and a W after it. Now, in order to do this for multiple values, I have used a function called as concatenate. Concatenate just puts two string values before, after or anywhere beside a numerical value. So this entire column before becomes my input for the plugin. And I have given this column a label of bar bar click on this green thing and I will rename it to bar and put a pound sign before it like how we did all these times again but if you know uh, if you are aware Figma doesn't allow instances of a component to change in like geometry it can replace the value but you can't change if you have an instance of a component you cannot change width of any child within that component so what you have to do create an instance and detach it from the component so that the plugin will be able to manipulate it with its width. And like the last time you have to put it inside an auto layout frame and rename that to at the rate hash. All these information is written in the documentation. Now uh, we just have to open the plugin and click on fetch and sync. So as you can see, it has generated that many values. And for example, in case of 53%, you can see this is roughly 53% of the entire width. In the next section, we will generate a pie chart and this takes advantage of rotation property. So before we go any further, I'll take how I'll show how this is constructed. So right now we have a frame inside which we have a background layer, which suggests a hundred percent and this and a turn layer this is of color and as the value increases in negative degrees it fills the gray box the score of the person and the target values divided it and multiplied it by minus 180 why when we turn this by minus 180 it suggests 100 percent so that value we have to take the rules of the plugin states that you have to whatever is the rotation value you have to add a slash before it and a degree value after it so you can copy it from the documentation as well or from this sheet i will put this link in the description and i added that concatenation so i have created that ui and uh, put a percentage value in the center 
to start off i'll just put it to 0 degree so it becomes like 0 and it is basically there but it is hidden so if i enable clip content it is there but it's hidden and once you rotate it, it will reveal itself and uh, again what we have to do is put it inside an auto layout frame and rename it to at the rate and hash so i'll rename this to at the rate and hash so this tells the plugin to multiply it multiple times and i will run this plugin so as you can see for 47 percent it has rotated that red circle by 84 degrees and likewise it has created a bunch of instances if you found this video helpful click comment below and let me know and also click here to check out best accessibility plugins in figma and i will see you in next one